let's quick look at the uh, um, let's quickly do the uh, let's quickly do uh, one tail version of the problem so it's uh, basically the same problem same same setup but in this case uh, we hypothesize that those who watch system history as children have higher uh, high school grades than those who didn't on average so let's redo our example as one tail test um, you know only difference would be just you know all the calculation would be the same but difference is the setting setup of the hypothesis hypotheses and also uh, you know okay final final you know uh, you know conclusions okay so uh, you know some people like to do alternative but first but I just want to go ahead and do the null hypothesis so uh, mu watched minus mu didn't in other words mu system history minus mu non system history you know would be either uh, no 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 difference so either zero or, or uh, no no positive difference so or, or, or negative you know that's that's how you do it's just like any other hypothesis testing okay and of course alternative will be uh, you know uh, system history minus non system history will be a positive number okay and uh, same values and uh, we use the uh, same uh, alpha level and uh, but this time it's gonna be a one tail test so when we look at the t, uh, t table we have to look at a different number different place you know okay okay this um, what oh. so alpha we want to know these three things the alpha level and the you know critical value I mean the T T critical value I mean T T value for the critical value and also a degree of freedom okay degree of freedom for this is uh, you know it's a poor degree of freedom so combine them you know basically we use the same numbers from the last example so 10 minus 1 plus 10 minus 1 is 18 and uh, alpha level is 0 0.05 and it's one tail test so when you look at the, the T table we have to look at this one tail value so it's here and 18 and intersection cross section of uh, that this and 18 is 1.734 so that's gonna be the critical value of T and it's there right there and this time we are not concerned about the negative because it's one tail test you know because we hypothesize that the, the, the effect would be positive and okay t calculation you know as i said all the same values so t will be you know a uh, standard error of uh, mean difference was 2 and that's 93 minus 85 and blah 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 and it's 4 you know it's the same actually it's exactly the same number and we're gonna are we gonna reject or not you know of course we do because you know one tail test is only making it easier to reject now hypothesis because it's making it easier to find uh, a power you know find the uh, effect you know so uh, here 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 and the conclusion is that reject now hypothesis 
Okay. To recap how we got these numbers, okay. Of course, you know, it's it's no 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 biggie, you know, it's uh mean difference of samples minus mean difference of the population, you know, that's no brainer. And how you get this uh standard standard error of a mean difference, you know. How do you do that? And that is um This is how you get it. Square root of, you know, this plus this. So basically, uh, what we really want to know is this. You know, pulled, pulled uh, sample variance. So, okay, that's how you do. But it's pretty easy. Pull sample variance is just like a sample variance of two sample groups combined together. So you know. Sum of square divided by sum of square for for both groups would be 360, and uh, sample uh, 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 population size minus one for two sample groups would be 18. You know that's how you do it in 20, right? So that's how we uh, get the, the value for for pooled sample variance. So it's 20 and 20, and uh, uh, sample size for uh, sample one is ten, and this sample size for sample two is ten. So two plus two equals, you know, square root of four is two. That's how we got, you know, uh, center error of, uh, you know, mean difference. That's how we got. And uh, once we know that, you know, the rest of the calculation is pretty simple, right? Because uh, t equals that divided by 2. I mean, s sample, you know, sam sample, a standard error of the sample, sample difference. Okay. 